I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. This is Priest Kevin Gondoha with the ISUPK. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the ISUPK, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had your life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. From W.E.D. the boys. What do you know about that brother? You understand? It ain't the truth. But the brother was trying to say something to black people, man. You understand? He was trying to say something to black, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. Read this. Read from right here. Read. This deep religious fatalism painted so beautifully in Uncle Tom. This beautiful what? Fatalism. Fatalism. To believe in Christianity is fatal, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. To believe in any religion is fatal to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian, man. It's fatal. Meaning it's going to cost us our lives. And Christianity has cost millions of black people lives, man. Christianity costed both of them John his life. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no oppressor gonna walk in my home. And I'm gonna just be like, you tell me I ain't gonna get shot with some knife or something in my hand trying to defend my home? You ain't catching me like that. Because I ain't no Christian. And the brothers back here, we ain't no Christian, man. But Christianity teaches you to drop your guard around your oppressor. Read, read this. Came soon to breathe as all. Painted so beautifully in Uncle Tom. That's what Christianity makes you into. Christianity makes you into Uncle Tom. It makes you into Uncle Tom, an Aunt Jemima. That's what Christianity makes you into. You understand? Jay-Z, our Uncle Tom. Martin Luther King, our Uncle Tom. Because they all believe in the same thing. Christianity, man. Believe in forgiving your slave master. That ain't Christ. Read. Came soon to breed, as all fatalistic faiths will. The, sensu the sensualist side by side with the martyr. With the martyr, you understand? You going you to take Christianity, flip, it flips the brain circuit, man. Like things that black people should be angry about, we're not angry. We're forgiving. We're loving. You understand? You're supposed to be loving towards your brothers and sisters, your blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. We got time to show these our nation love because our brothers on the border, they locked up in cages. Their sons and daughters, their sons and daughters are being separated from them. We got no love to share blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. We under the lax moral life of the plantation, where marriage was a farce. Where marriage was a what? Marriage was a farce. Marriage is a farce. 
Meaning that, that's so cool. Let this noise pass. Because what we're saying right now, what we're reading right now, black people, you understand? It ain't the Bible, but it's, it has some sense and some point to it. You understand? What did this brother say about marriage? Marriage was a farce. Marriage was a farce. You understand why? Because two black people, they go get married in a Christian church and two years after they divorce. You understand? Marriage, the marriage that's in the Christian church is not in the Bible. That's why it doesn't last. It's against the Bible, man. Marriage according to the Bible is sex. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian. That's marriage. You want to learn more about it? Come get a flyer from this brother. Sex is marriage. Read. Laziness a virtue. And La laziness a what? A virtue. A virtue. In the Christian church, laziness is a virtue. You got no fight in you in the Christian church. But a, but a so-called oppressor, he got all the fight in the world if somebody come harm his people. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? You understand? There's a difference between a white Christian and a black Christian, man. We ain't the same. The white man used Christianity and conquered the earth. Understand what I'm telling you, black man. Understand what I'm telling you. He used Christianity to conquer the earth. And where we at, black man? We can't even conquer the hood with Christianity, right? We got Christian churches going up all over in the hood and we can't conquer the hood. You know why? Because Christianity is not for black people. Christianity is a very good religion for so-called the oppressor. You understand? Because he knows what real, he, his Christianity teaches him what justice is. Osama bin Laden brought the trade, the World Trade Center down, killed 3,000 people. His Christianity told him he needs to go and put bin Laden to death. You understand? Is his God given right to go get justice? James Foley, a reporter, went across in the Middle East. I don't know what his, his pale behind was doing there with those wild men. But it was there, like the stupid oppressor he is, he got, he lost his head. I'm not condoning that type of lifestyle, but he lost his head. And America went to war with Islam, with ISIS, went to war. You understand what I'm saying? Their Christianity is totally different to our Christianity, black man. Christianity to us, is a sickness. You understand? It's a disease. It kills us. It's fatal to us. It's a psychological disorder of the mind. How in the hell you going to tell a rape victim to love the rapist? I don't understand. How in the hell you going to tell a, a woman that is being abused, that's being kicked and punched in the head? to love the abuser. America has been abusing black people. That what you saw in the, in the courts with Amber Geiger, that's because we have been victims in America. We suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. Go look at a black man. That's when you got all, when all your sympathy is towards your slave master. Read. And property a theft, a religion of resignation and submission. A, a relig religion of what? Of resignation and submission. Resignation and submission, meaning what? We are a religion of hugs and kisses. That's what Christianity is to black people. A religion of hugs and kisses. It don't empower you to do anything. You understand what I'm saying, black man? The native Indians lost family members because they didn't want to convert to Christianity. We lost 
family member, our family member lost their eyes, their, their tongue for trying to read the Bible, for not wanting to accept the so-called oppressor's Christianity. Understand what I'm telling you, blacks and Spanish and native Indian. Understand what I'm trying to tell you, man. Read again. A religion of resignation and submission degenerated easily. You understand? We resigned. We didn't have no fight in us. Christianity took to a philosophy of indulgence and crime. And a, a what? A philosophy of indulgence and crime. You, you think you committed crimes, you ain't a Christian, you a Christian. You understand? I don't blame those brothers, man. Those brothers, you commit crimes, man. You, you, you go to church and do what? You're getting killed in the churches. You're getting killed anywhere in America but in the UPK. Now I tell you, brothers, man, come grab a flyer from one of these brothers, man. Come grab a flyer. We drop a like flies in these churches and in these gangs. Read. Many of the worst characteristics of the Negro masses of today had their ruin, had, had their seed in this period of the slaves' ethnic, ethical growth. You understand? Like, black man, you gotta understand this, man. Christianity destroyed us as a people, man. Christianity destroyed the black hole, the black structure, the black man, the black woman, the black child. Christianity destroyed it. And we saw it all inside that American court. We saw it in that court. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.